Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed Sunday's bling bling. Um, day one of Valentine's week. Today's day two. Um, we're going to get into doing a Dutch pour today and I think it's going to be fun. I've tried a few Dutch pours. I've done a Dutch pour in a heart. Um, a couple of times. I'll link the video at the end for that. And today we're going to do a Dutch pour with our pre-mixed um, Artist Loft paints because I like them. They actually are right out of the package. You can use them. You don't mix them. That's why I wanted to do the pre-pour paints because apparently you're not supposed to do anything with them. Why? You buy it pre-mixed, right? At least that's my thoughts. So anyways, so we're going to do that and we are going to use these. I'm excited to try these. These are just dollar store um, heart shaped cookie cutters. Um, I went again, I'll show you my little haul. It was very small, but I'll throw it out there anyways. Easter's coming. It's hilarious. They had Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day and all of their summer stuff out. I thought it was hilarious. So anyways, they had these cute, these are paper bunnies, but they have little um, glitter um, Easter eggs. And then in the middle one, there's bunnies with little flecks. And then the top one is just multicolored little, oh, flowers. So I just thought that was kind of cute for a dollar and a quarter. And they had this with my um, big commissioned geode I'm making. They had these, and I don't know if anyone has used them, let me know. These are, whoops, I'm dropping them. These are metallic glass gravel. So I don't know, I've never, I don't know if you can see them. It's hard to show it to you, but I will put the container up, It'll be a little easier. Um, I've never used them, so I don't know if anyone's used them. Let me know if they're any good, because I don't want to put them on there if they're going to bleed, all that fun stuff. And they had these other two chunky glitters. One is um, X's and O's, so we might, oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. We might be getting um, some coasters with those. And this one is the word love in a bright fluorescent yellow or red, even though it's pink, what the heck? That's why I'm going for a brain scan. And it has uh, holographic hearts in it. So I thought they were cute. They were $1.50 each. So I picked one of each up. And me being the Canadian girl I am, they had some red maple leaves. Like I said, that's some weird stuff this time. And they had these felt hearts. So I don't know, I don't know what I would use them in, but I bought a pack anyways, cause my name is Sherry and I am an addict. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I work to support my, <laughs> my little dollar store shopping malls cause they always end up being about 50 bucks every time I go in there. So anyways, I'm gonna get myself together. I'm going to um, prep my canvas. And I can't believe uh, it's been brought to my attention that, um, with that being said, used to be my favorite <laughs> catchphrase. And you know what? I don't say it, which is hilarious. I used to say it 50 times a video. I used to get people complaining about it, which was humorous. It is what it is, right? And that's why the lovely Janet made me this mug with that being said. So... I have to throw it out there. With that being said, I'm gonna get my canvas prepped and we'll be right back for a Dutch pour. Hello, I am got my canvas taped and push pinned and we are gonna get into this. Now I have mixed up some fresh paint. This is the Artist Loft Titanium White. I've been using that instead of the normal one because the normal one's been doing a lot of weird, wonderful things. So I thought instead of just wasting my time, I'm going to carry on with this. So with this, I am actually gonna put a pair of gloves on because 
I don't want to ruin my beautiful nail polish. All right, here we go. Feels weird putting gloves on to paint. Normally I'm a right in there kind of girl. And look at this. Go figure, I have some bling bling on my spatula. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna put my flood cloud on. Now with what I'm going to do is we're going to scrape most of this off if my inside blow goes out too far. So I'm going to take my blow dryer and just blow this around. It is really cold in my basement. And like I said, this is just freshly done. So we're just gonna do this. And I'm not overly worried. I may have to add a little bit of water because I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna do here. As long as my center part I can blow with. I'm content with the edges being a little thicker. So, grab a piece of paper towel, wipe off my amazing omelet spatula. All right. Just a rough wipe off so it's more or less clean little easier to manage later. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure my edges are done. We're gonna give this a good old torch. Pick up whatever that would be. And I'm gonna add, because to me it looks a little thick, I'm gonna add just a Tad more bit of water because that titanium is even almost as thick as the um, I didn't think it would be that thick as the artist loft acrylic flow all right I did mix up a second one let me just I'm going to add just a little bit of water in this one as well. I'll link my mixing video in as well at the end. I use two parts flow trowel, one part paint, and basically three quarters to one part water. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have white everywhere. I'm not used to the gloves, so I don't know that it's on my hands. That's hilarious, because I don't want to get it everywhere. So, let me try this again with the blow dryer and see. to turn the heater off give me one sec guys I forgot if I got my heater on and the blow dryer going I popped the fuse all right we're just gonna get the edges and again like I said this is gonna be all probably scraped off around the edge anyway what are my plans are, 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 I'm going to do the Dutch pour in the middle and then I'm going to come back and find and put my heart basically like that. And then anything that's around, I'm going to scrape off. So I'm trying to do the Dutch pour, just kind of keeping it in this little area. So I'm not going to use a whole lot of paint. And then we're going to let it dry and see what it looks like. So I'm going to give this a torch. 
hilarious. Every time I pop the fuse thing, my lights back behind me start going. I've turned the lights off because even though they're not, they're not set to flicker, I don't know what it is. In the video, it shows up as I've got it, like it's a disco party going on. So I don't know why it does that. I'm just going to try and get the back edge here. Because if I don't need to, I don't really want to make a mess, right? Oh my goodness. I'm taking this off. I can't do it. Sorry. All right. So we have all of my pre-mixed Artist Loft paints. This one is Phthalo Blue. This one is um, Turquoise. We have... This one is violet. We have phthalo, oh, bright blue. What was that one? Phthalo blue. All right, just wanted to make sure because there was two different blues. I bought two kits. And this one is aqua green. And we're going to do silver. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I do not want a whole, I'm going to move this out of the way. I do not want a whole, whole lot because I don't want it, like I said, to go over crazy. So I'm just going to put hmm, a dot, a dot, and a dot. We're just going to do that and see where it goes from there. We will do the phthalo blue. And I know these aren't 100% um, Valentine's colors, but it's going to be a heart, guys. Um, let's do the turqu turquoise. And we'll do the purple. See, now I liked these because the premixed with these ones, you don't have to do anything to it. That's the part of buying a pre-mixed paint. At least that's what's in my brain. You want it to just go. It 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 stops all that question of I'm gonna put a little silver on the top maybe. It stops all that question about how much to add and this and that. That's why you buy a pre-mixed paint. So all right. Give it a torch. going to I've got stuff in it already that's hilarious see I want this to be the heart so I am just gonna oh I want to blow it with blow dryer but I don't want it to go too crazy well here, we're gonna do it with blow dryer slow thoughts were you find the best part so I'm gonna see if I can get some something going on here that's pretty but I don't want it there I wonder if I put because I like that reaction I wonder actually if I can just tilt it to try to bring that more over here and my canvas looks like it's empty there. So I'm going to try. There, and let's see if that does anything. in and do its thing because I want to place this
kind of centered like that. I think, I think, I think. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to get this guy, one of these. This might not work, guys, but I'm trying something different. Like I said, I am not a do the same thing over. We're just going to go like this. Try to get it. You're probably going, oh my god, that's a lot of wasted paint. No, and you're probably going, oh, you probably just got to paint it over it, but we are trying something different. That's why I wasn't overly worried about the base. And my thoughts are, too, if there's a marble in it, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna leave it sit up for a minute. And let's see. Oops. Right in the middle. <laughs> there, I th think. I think that's good. And then we're just going to pour this white all around. I don't know. I hope this works. <laughs> so this doesn't matter how thick it is. Because I'm not blowing anything off, right? So just a thin coat of this. Just as long as you don't see any blue at the edges. hand right in it. Yuck. All right, I think 
That'll be that. Now I'm having a, a little leakage on this end, but you know what? That's fine. Let me just get the edges. Gonna grab a wet one here and get my finger all fixed up. <sighs> all right, gonna do a torch here. Get rid of all the bubbles. I don't want that there, but <sighs> I'm afraid. Here we go, guys. Straight up. I don't know. I'm wondering. I'm just going to take my finger, try and do a little, a little swirly. Just to bring it on in, make it more of a heart shaped. There's so much work down here. <laughs> It's all wonky, but you know. I just thought it was something different, guys. Something that I'm gonna do it on the white. Just to bring it in. I was wanting to do the heart, you know, the heart with the little tail. I don't know. Let me see. really not blowing that hard. Let me grab my, I don't know if you've seen this. This is a water line for your refrigerator. I don't know. It's not silicone, but it's acrylic-y kind of thing. I like it so that, you know, my upper portion of my body doesn't get into the little spots where I do not want them to go. So I'm going to use this just to maybe pull in a couple of See little strips of blue. I'm almost wondering. Maybe after it's dry, we can come around it with maybe some foil or something. I'm going to do this. Maybe that'll be what we'll do. We're going to do this. And then maybe on Sunday, we can finish the Valentine week with blinging this up. I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to try and spread it out a little bit more. It looks a little better. I want it to be like a, a little bit of a V. And then 
maybe bring, see if I can bring this one out a little bit. I'm coming down where there's more color. I'm trying to push it out. There. I think that's it, my friends, and I think that's exactly what we are going to do on Sunday when this is all dry because today is Tuesday it'll be dry by then we will um, embellish this maybe we'll do some um, leafing on the outside or something do something kind of funky with it so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this um, again like I said today's Tuesday so I'll, I'll give you a, um, an end of it with it dry and then on Sunday we will finish it up as a bling bling so I'm excited so with that I'm gonna take you down and we will do a little bit of a show-and-tell now there's not a whole lot of uh, cells in it but you know what I'm not hating it because like I said we're gonna I think we'll come in and do some bling stuff oh there we go there's a little bit but I was saddened that we lost those big chunky ones, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause so you don't get seasick and I'll bring you down. I'll see you in a sec, guys. There we go. I know it's nothing extravagant, but we're gonna get there. I think on Sunday, when we do the second part, I think it'll be pretty. I know this is just stark white, but I think we'll get into this. We'll put some, I got my blue glass. We got some glitters. And we'll do something amazing with this. So we'll end our bling bling, our week with a bling bling again. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, like I said, I'm going to give you an end clip, see it dry. So with that, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. Hit that thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And hit that bell for notifications. So when I put up my next video, you will have a, a notification how that works it's amazing and <laughs> in my description box I have the links to my Amazon shops which I'm an affiliate with I have the links to um, my Facebook page I have the links to um, Fundy molds with a discount code I have the links to where to purchase triart liquid glass I have the links to where to purchase crystal resin I have the link to um let's resin with a discount code sherry m10 capital s capital m and i also have the links to the two amazing lores distributors my canadian one is michelle from artworks resin canada check out her website and she's got other stuff than just the lores um we use my discount code for michelle it is sherry molten 10 capital s capital m and also the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my Glitter Guru, my American Lores Distributor. Check out her website. Use my discount code, all cap letters, Sherry Moulton 10. Also, as in every description box, I have the also the links to um, Julie Cuts from Pour Your Heart Out, um, her molds. The link is in there as well. And my PayPal link is in there if you choose to donate and help support my addicting habit of crafting. With that, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Look at that. It matches my fingernails. Look at that. Bye. <laughs>